Hello and welcome again to another episode of Nerdiest Kids You Know. Alright, today's video is going to be about how to effectively level up your crafting skill while still maintaining, you know, a little bit of a profit. The first method I'm going to show you is crafting golden bracelets. So you're going to need a bunch of gold bars and you're going to need your bracelet mold. So we're going to go over to Falador because that's where I usually go to do my smelting and crafting and whatnot that has to do with a furnace. So we're going to head over to the furnace. So the reason why crafting gold bracelets is a good form of making a profit and raising that crafting skill is because you can buy gold bars for 118 gold and you can sell the gold bracelets that you make for roughly 220. For every gold bracelet that you make you get 25 XP so for an inventory of 28 gold bracelets you get around 700 XP. So if you have the patience to sit here and make thousands upon thousands of golden bracelets then it's a pretty good way to make money and level up. But for those of you who really don't have the patience to just sit there and make bracelets all day long, there are other ways. But they're not quite as profitable, such as crafting dragon hide armor. It takes three red dragon leathers to make one red dehyde body, and you get 234 experience for every one. Again, this isn't profitable in the least, however it does bring in the XP like a mofo. A completely different case from crafting green, blue, red, or black dragon leather. While true they bring in massive XP, but force you to shovel loads of cash right out of your ass is picking flax and spinning it into bowstrings at a spinning wheel. Spinning flax into bowstrings virtually doubles its selling price and gives you 15 XP per flax. And as for the locations of spinning wheels, there's one in Lumbridge Castle on the second floor in the room next to Duke Horatio, and another in Sears Village by where you picked your flax. Unless, of course, you bought it. This one is also on the second floor. I'm noticing a trend here. What's with all the spinning wheels being on the second floors? What, ground floor ain't good enough for your spinning wheel? So, all in all, I'd give flax spinning the ass stamp of disapproval for XP rate, but one and a half thumbs up for the bank it could bring in. Another way to level your skill in crafting with bracelets and gain a nice profit is to craft sapphire bracelets at the Alcarid Furnace. Bring a pretty good amount of nature runes, a nice stack you can be proud of. Bring 13 gold bars, and 13 uncut sapphires, and a staff of fire. You can buy one at the Grand Exchange for around 1000 gold. Craft all the sapphire bracelets, and then use high alchemy on them and you'll get 690 gold for each one, and 65 magic XP. You gain about 24 gold per bracelet you high alk. I'll admit, it's not amazing, but look at all the XP you're getting, magic and crafting. Well kitties, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to rate, subscribe, and leave your comments and requests in the comment section below.